Alexandra's Girly Talk is a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers. She is no longer vegan after following the diet for 5 years. Her recent video coming out about this is a bit suspicious to say the least. I don't really understand why she would even make a video if she was going to address it in this way. There are really only two possibilities here. One, young women that go vegan have the poorest judgment out of anyone on this planet and that has been demonstrated in the past. Two, she is simply lying and being paid to make the vegan diet look good, uh, not out of the realm of possibilities considering vegans are known liars. Let's see what she has to say uh, to give you guys an idea of where I'm coming from. I have helped a lot of people go vegan. I have created a lot of vegan content and I have told you how vegan I am for years. And here I am telling you I'm not vegan anymore. And I'm so happy. Isn't that weird? I mean, I never thought that I would, number one, not be vegan anymore, but number two, be confident and happy about it. I'm actually like in a great place. This is not like me, you know, coming in and like making an apology. This was a journey of about five years. So this shouldn't go without documentation. I, I went vegan overnight. I read something in a book that was like, the human digestive tract is so long. And when you put dead animals into that, and then you expect yourself to feel like awake and alive, it might be hard to achieve that because the dead animals going through your system uh, move much slower. Dead animals, number one, disgusting. Number two, that sounds terrible. I'm always tired, maybe that's why. So I went vegan. I literally said, cancel the fridge, cancel the freezer, cancel dinner. I'm vegan now, honey. I do not waver. When I see something that needs to be changed, I'm doing that right away. I saw veganism as what I needed to do. Literally, me personally, what I needed. <laughs> what a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Another vegan girl influencing millions of people, yet she has absolutely no understanding of nutrition. The human digestive tract length is far closer to a carnivore than an herbivore. The dead animal rotting in your stomach is actually vegans explaining to you that animal foods take longer to digest, possibly because they are more nutritious. And let's be honest here, what food has more life, a ribeye steak or a carrot? They always speak about veganism like it's the best thing in the world without actually saying why. If you tell someone something is amazing over and over and over again, I guess they truly end up believing it. That is, until their skin starts peeling off. And if young ladies actually made the parallel that veganism ages you and makes you ugly, there would not be a single vegan woman on this planet. I guarantee you that. I had always been like a meat and potatoes kind of girl. Like I always ate uh, something with cheese on it or meat uh, only or meat and like potatoes or meat and some type of rice. Going into this, I was feeling tired, but you know, I didn't want to lose weight or anything like that. I think the first night of veganism, I ate spinach like in my bed. I, I'm not even joking you. I was watching a lot of Freely the Banana Girl and that girl pounds back all these vegetables, all these fruits. And I was like, well, damn, like I just got to start eating the veggies. I had never done that before. And people were laughing at me in my life. They were like, you've never eaten vegetables. And I was like, not really, no. Like I've literally always eaten meat. Have you looked at my plate? And they're like, you're right. You always have. So fast forward, you know, I go vegan. I don't really start to feel more awake, but I also started exploring um, other things to help my energy levels. As a young person, I should feel awake. 19 year old, 20 year old, like, of course I should feel quite awake. Actually, no, I think I was 20. No, I was 19. Yeah, I was 19. So you should feel really energized at that age. I started exploring vitamins and like I went to a naturopathic doctor. So there were other action items I was taking in terms of making myself feel better and be in better health. I got a boob job somewhere along the way. That made me feel really sick. Uh, had to revise them because they were like massive and then I had to get like another boob job and it was like a lot of money and a lot of stress and a lot of whatever but I also felt really sick so I was going through like a breast implant illness situation being vegan and overall feeling like shit now this isn't because veganism makes you unhealthy it literally is probably the probably the best diet probably in theory 
I, the problem was that I wasn't willing to do any of that. I am so sorry. Like I had no experience in that realm and to just kind of wake up and be like, I'm vegan now. You know, I was trying my best to eat things that I knew were healthy, but I was never able to do it. And it, be, it became stressful. Like it became really stressful. So I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to eat what I want. I'm going to eat the, the veggie burgers. I was consuming soy carbs, soy carbs, and more soy with a little bit more carbs. Now that's like not great. Like anybody can tell you that's not great. That's like, it's not healthy and it's not, uh, Okay. Now you see all of the passion that's in this because it's like all of the while. Well, I guess both her and Freely have had plenty of facial work done. If a vegan diet was so great, why are all these people injecting plastic into their face? Not only were our ancestors beautiful without Botox, they had plenty of energy throughout their entire lives well into old age. Granted, they consumed animal foods. Lots of similarities here between uh, these vegans. Facial plastic surgery, breast enlargement, naturopaths, blaming illnesses on things outside of their diet. Uh, she acts like her diet was not an ideal vegan diet and that a vegan diet in theory is super healthy without explaining why it's actually healthy or why it could be healthy. And to me, this seems like vegans trying to convince themselves and glamorize the idea of not eating animal foods, that it has to be healthy because their idea of killing animals to them is very bad. It's very dirty. So how could eating animals be good for you? Um, I mean, that's that's what I'm assuming goes on in their, in their heads. But, you know, when you have cauliflower for a brain, it's not something I can actually replicate. I guess the vegan community convinced her, just like everyone else, that she didn't do the vegan diet properly. I had done this for my health. I had gone vegan for my health, but I was starting to create a new narrative in my mind that I was doing this for the animals. And you know why? That's because every other person, it feels like, is doing it for the animals. And I don't know why. Why did I never do it for the animals? I don't know. I just didn't. Like, I just never... Eating meat was how I grew up and I ate meat and it was like, it just never had penetrated my world to go vegan for the animals. Now this video is not just about me telling you my story. This is really important because something I've learned, I'm 24 now and it's like, I realize that a lot of the, the life I've lived in 24 years has been figuring out what other people think is good and trying to do as close to or do that because it makes me worthy, because it makes me accepted, because it makes me a good person. And here is the truth, boys and girls. For the animals, forget all the insects and rabbits and rodents that perish in conventional agriculture. Just don't kill the cute little piggy, oink, oink. That's not true for me anymore. Like I have completely switched because I need to be me. I cannot be a, a human for other people because it makes me unhappy. I got to a point where I was feeling so depressed and it wasn't about vegan. It wasn't about my breast implants. It wasn't about anything in particular other than the combination of me not holding my own um, ground in situations that I should have. And that was coming through in my diet, in my career, uh, everywhere. And, and I needed to take control of that. I did not look at my diet once and think, I want to eat meat. I did not look at my diet once and think, maybe vegan isn't healthy because I think it's healthy. I think it's very, very healthy. But what I did have happen was a spiritual kind of moment. Um, I traveled to Malibu and I had a meditation where I will give you the short version here, okay? Uh, I traveled there and I asked myself, I asked the universe to show me what is this? What is this? Like, show me how this works. What is this? The world. Show me why am I here? What is the purpose? Why? Like, show me something. And I, I got a lot. I got a lot out of that meditation. It was a very intense weekend. It was like three days and every night I was going into meditation and I was doing work on myself that was very hard to do. Like really, really hard to feel those emotions. And um, ultimately I came out of it realizing that there was a lot of tension, a lot of physical tension in my body as a result of me judging myself and others. And I started to explore why that was. And I realized that my diet was literally making me think that people were either good or bad, and that was killing me. I started to look at veganism as the correct thing to do. It's healthy. It's amazing for the animals. It's kind. Why aren't you doing it? And I started to look at people as though they were wrong for not seeing what I saw. 
Now, whether veganism is the right diet or not, go off in the comments. But what is really not okay for us as people is to be judging each other with that amount of conviction. You know, you're either good or bad, and if you're not doing this, 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 like that is a cult mentality. That is not good or okay. This is the first time I've heard a young lady acknowledge the vegan diet for what it is, a cult. This is a perfect example of what happens to vegans. They follow this starvation diet. It ruins their health, hormones. They get depressed, completely ludicrous state of mind. They try all this wacko, daco, cracko stuff, possibly due to vitamin B12 deficiency, as that is known to cause psychosis and hallucinations. And, and people deal with this in different ways. Uh, some vegans shoot water up their butts. Uh, some of them drink their own urine. Others decide to fly halfway across the world and meditate in a smelly, fruit-filled bungalow, uh, whatever you may have it. Not normal behavior. And I wanted to get rid of that. And what I asked myself was, what is the thing that is making me do this? It's veganism. I had this massive internal dialogue that if I were to eat meat or something that came from an animal intentionally that I was a really bad person and that I wouldn't you know, be accepted by any of the vegans anymore and that those were kind of like my people and that it would make me terrible and it actually makes me so uncomfortable to think about being a bad person. This goes all the way back to childhood when you're just trying to be loved and accepted by other people and maybe you've been in situations where you weren't and to feel that same that's the root feeling. And, and I always have wanted to avoid that. But you know what I said? Not this time, because for me, I want to eat some meat and I want to explore what it's like. It's unfortunate how these people seek validation from vegans. Yet if they understood how little vegans care for human life, how cruel they really are, they wouldn't give it a second thought. They wouldn't have been vegan in the first place. It's okay for vegans to miscarriage their babies, not be able to breastfeed, have their children's teeth rot out. God forbid I crack open an egg. I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna be disgusting, this and that. I had some like organic, like GMO, you know, amazing quality turkey bacon, I think it was, and butter on my toast, butter on my toast. I could cry, like butter on my toast was like, no more soy, like oil-based butter, like real butter. And I was so happy. Like I was so, so happy. And I didn't know what that meant for who I was as a person. I didn't know if that was going to make me, you know, a bad person. And it didn't, it didn't make me a bad person. I continued to dabble into eating eggs and turkey bacon for about a week. And like, it was a great week. I felt really, really great. And then I started to eat other types of meat. Da, 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 da. Fast forward, I'm eating meat. I'm eating my meat and my potatoes. And I'm happy. And I'm adding in vegetables. I have been making an effort to like add in salads and like taking what I learned from the greatness of veganism and adding some of those nuts and seeds and things that I think are really fantastic at the core of a vegan diet. And I'm just like adding it into my non-vegan diet. I'm really, really enjoying eating fish. That's like the thing that makes me feel so good. I don't like nitpick. I don't go to a restaurant and ask if it's like GMO this. I don't. I'm the type of person like will go to like the other grocery store to like get the, the more ethical, the better, like all of that stuff. But I'm like super loosey goosey with it. And it feels really good that way. It feels like I'm not bound by my diet and that feels really freeing. And that has affected me in so many good ways in the rest of my life. We see this every single time. People start eating animal foods again, and they become revitalized. Nutrition from animal foods is key for every metabolic process in the body, including hormone production, literally what makes us feel good. A vegan diet is simply starving your body of nutrition, and you will never feel good on it. Vegans can spend all the time they want trying to explain that cholesterol is bad for us, that we can supplement vitamin B12 that we are getting our nutrition from plant foods. But why does every single anecdote, every real world experience say otherwise? Instead of fighting against meat in general, vegans really need to take a look at the bigger picture and fight against conventional agriculture and our modern food system. But that would require logic and sensibility, 
vegans are built on emotion and the idea of not consuming animal food. So that will never happen. I go out to a farm once or twice a month and purchase humanely raised, environmentally friendly animal products. Whether vegans want to admit it or not, my impact on the environment and the harm I am causing correlating to my diet is far less than I would say any single vegan on this planet unless they are literally growing every single thing in their backyard and picking the insects off of their lettuce. The craziest thing about veganism is these people are literally fighting for the wrong cause. If their cause was to not consume cute animals, it would make more sense. If vegans were upfront and said, oh, you shouldn't eat meat and pork and chicken because those animals are cute and cuddly, that's fine. But them saying the diet's healthy, it's better for the environment, it's better from a moral and ethical perspective is completely misguided. Because ultimately it came down to me asking myself, is it possible for you to judge yourself less by not judging others? by trusting that you are okay and that the things you want to do and the things that you're drawn to are for you. And it's okay if they're not for somebody else. I wanna circle this back to the fact that I really appreciate veganism, vegans, and I appreciate that there are people actively called to pursue betterment of, I don't know, the entire structure of the meat industry, but also like animals in particular. I think people are spending time with animals on farms you know, re-integrating uh, animals that have been treated very badly into a habitat that's like supportive. That is something that I feel is very good. However, I'm personally called to do much different things with my life. I'm personally not called to be an activist for the animals. I have my own purpose and that's okay. And I think everybody has their own purpose and that's okay. I can have me and I can have you too and you can have you and you can have me too and we can accept each other and we can understand that this doesn't have to be a tit for tat. If you live this way, you're that way. And if you don't, you're this. It doesn't have to be like that. We can all accept each other. We can all love each other and create space for each other. And trust me, life gets a lot better when we start doing that. And it's baby steps, you know? Baby steps all the time. Like, you're not gonna be perfect, ever. I just don't believe these girls get sucked into this vegan bullshit without being paid, especially for five years. And how this girl's acting in this video isn't like she was vegan for five years. It, it seems like she was vegan for five hours. Now, is there a possibility that veganism became popular, a bunch of people jumped on the bandwagon, takes a couple years for your health to deteriorate? I don't think so. There are new vegan influencers popping out every day, so maybe these girls can only take so much abuse from the vegan diet before denouncing it. The important message here is recognizing the issues with a vegan diet and that we need animal foods in our diet in order to be healthy. And this doesn't just apply to vegans. This applies to every single person in the United States. I would say 99.9% .9 of people aren't getting adequate nutrition. Uh, it's really unfortunate. This is something that sits very close to my heart. Uh, I've spoken about it in the past. Uh, the reason I believe uh, people are sick, ugly, unhappy, disabled, whatever it may be, I think that's largely due to nutrient deficiencies and us not being raised in a natural way. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, check out some of the other videos on my channel. Recently, I have launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, our goal being to provide you guys with high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. Guys, check out Frankie's FreeRangeMeat.com to learn more about our message and what we are looking to do in the future. Again, thank you guys for joining me today, and enjoy the rest of the week.